morning, Commandant. I've been waiting for you to wake up, to become the bargaining chip to trade for thousands of lives. I must continue forward. A promotion? I don't need that anymore. Improvements have been made according to the plan. I have to save more people. Battle cost reduced. I need to be faster. With the enhancement of my weapons, I can prevent more tragedies from happening. I won't let any more of you sacrifice again. Yes, I'll protect you, no matter what. Mission complete. Loot and payment are sorted and stored in the warehouse. The stars are beautiful because they light up the dark sky. They shine bright in the darkness, just like the lives in this apocalyptic world. That's why I hate to see a dead sky or land. Every miracle comes with a price. Numerous lives perished in the cold winter in the fight for a peaceful future. I'm not the first and certainly will not be the last. I don't care how long I can hold out before I die. I just want to get to everyone as soon as possible. I won't forgive myself if I'm not there when they need me. Light the fire before the dawn. Burn all that I have, as long as it can drive away the darkness over the land. We have paid a huge price to seize this glimmer of hope. There is a shadow behind even those who follow the light. But with you by my side, I feel so warm, even when walking in the darkness. I had always yearned for a place I could call home before I joined Grey Raven. That's right. My dream has come true. Every day with Grey Raven is filled with happiness. So now, it is my turn to protect the dreams of other people. Waiting for the frame adjustment to finish feels like torture. Only my memories with Grey Raven can ease the pain. Lucia rarely brings this up, but she actually cares about what you say. Lee is sometimes very blunt, but he cares about you as much as I do. As long as you and everyone else are safe and sound, everything I've done will be worth it. Among all the stars in the sky, Polaris is the only one that helps people find their way. This reminds me of the person who's standing before me. This person is bright and attractive, but doesn't belong to anybody alone. Prayers, oaths, and miracles are like causes and effects. What keeps me here with you at this moment is the fierce wish I had in my heart. If meeting you is a miracle, is this endless burning in my chest, the price for it. Although I've long prepared to sacrifice myself and promise to keep the secret, I still want you to wake up and watch me until I reach the end. Understood. I'm ready. Although I've been saying these words a million times, there is still a faint yet solid feeling from the bottom of my heart when I see you. I guess it must be the longing to be alive. No matter how far away the future is, and how ephemeral life may be, I will find you in the dark night sky and spend the limited time I have left by your side. Thank you, Commandant. I have already taken enough from everyone. You will never stop being gentle with others, will you? Maybe you can save it for someone who needs it more. What? Me? You will always be on my mind, even if you don't do anything. Share some of your load with me, Commandant. I hate watching you carry it all alone. Can you promise me one thing, Commandant? Don't forget me, no matter what happens. I kept everything you gave me. Looking at them always reminds me of you and gives me a warm feeling.
I can feel your wish stored in my chest. It's warm. As long as you are still here, I'll keep going until I lose all my strength. This moment is precious because there isn't much time left to be happy. The lingering chaos in my mind is disappearing. Slacking off makes me feel tired. I'm sorry. I can stay with you. Oh, Commandant. Commandant. Could you get closer to me? Like the dream that will never come true? What's in the dream? It's a secret. Allow me to have more of the warmth. I can't embrace all the cold nights in the world. But you can hold me on the coldest night. Battle or mission report? Um, no matter what you do, please take me with you. I'm sorry. Will it cause you any trouble? Yes, I love it. The scenery full of the vitality of life. It makes me wonder what Earth will be like with all life restored. And how it will feel to stand with you in that future. So quiet. <sighs> Looks like Commandant is asleep. He must be exhausted. Commandant? Commandant! Oh, just sleeping, huh? Now that you're asleep, it should be fine if I get closer. Oh, Commandant! Have you been awake all this time? <sighs> it's fine. Get some rest. I'm happy. As long as you are here with me. Commandant, you are working overtime. Please get some rest. Please get closer so that I can heal you. And make you feel better, Commandant. Sorry. You must be exhausted because I'm not good enough to share the burden. I will not bother you if you are only here for rest, not work. But it seems you are still working on the missions. <sighs> so, I guess you already know what I'm going to say. You need to stay healthy to embrace the future with everyone else. Please take care of yourself, even if... You don't have me here to remind you of that. Your mission agenda is ready, Commandant. Please take a look. Now, the destined hope has appeared. You don't need to worry so much. I'll take care of everything and won't let them down. You are here. Hmm? Surprised that you didn't scare me from behind? After all the training I had with Grey Raven, I can tell when you're here no matter how quietly you walk. Welcome back. I guess I can have a peaceful day today. Huh? Why did I say that? Nothing. Now that you're back, nothing really matters. Please stay a little longer before daybreak arrives. Morning. Did you sleep well? Yes. I've been waiting for you here. No, there are no urgencies. It's just... I had a bad dream where everything was fine, but... I couldn't find you. Just like the other day. Even if a lone lamb can carry thousands of prayers, it still searches for the shepherd within its sight. Welcome back, Commandant. I had a good dream yesterday. In the dream, life was restored on Earth. There were flowers everywhere in the ruins, and people were laughing happily. You were among them. Huh? Me? Long time no see, Commandant. All the nightmares, they came back while you were away. But I could only wait for you like the day you fell asleep. If possible, could you promise me that you won't leave me for so long? <laughs> An emergency? 
Uh, is this a prank, Commandant? Oh, please come back to me, Commandant. Oh, I will protect everyone. What's wrong? Don't worry. I'm here with you. You woke me up like this on that day. You've got a warm hand, Commandant. It's embarrassing to say this, but I don't hate your touch. Your activity has reached the max limit. Please get some rest, or let me do something for you. The apocalypse will end with me. The fire of purity will bring redemption. I'm already capable of doing it. Vanish into the light. Hardship has been destroyed in the burning flames. Hope has been reborn in the ashes. I can handle this. This is not over yet. I'm sorry. I failed. Support target confirmed. Leave it to me. Rest. Be free from the cage of suffering. Lucia rarely brings this up, but she actually cares about what you say. Lee is sometimes very blunt, but he cares about you as much as I do. As long as you and everyone else are safe and sound, everything I've done will be worth it. Prayers, oaths, and miracles are like causes and effects. What keeps me here with you at this moment is the fierce wish I had in my heart. If meeting you is a miracle, is this endless burning in my chest the price for it? Yes, I love it. The scenery full of the vitality of life. It makes me wonder what Earth will be like with all life restored, and how it will feel to stand with you in that future. What's wrong? Don't worry. I'm here with you. Please stay a little longer before daybreak arrives. Sorry, you must be exhausted because I'm not good enough to share the burden. Now that you're asleep, it should be fine if I get closer. Oh, Commandant, have you been awake all this time? Mm -hmm. uh, an emergency? Uh, is this a prank, Commandant? Long time no see, Commandant. All the nightmares, they came back while you were away. But I could only wait for you like the day you fell asleep. If possible, could you promise me that you won't leave me for so long? <laughs> 